happen to be in Brevard County, go and try find some of the longleaf pine forests and you've got to get here early in the morning for one of North America's most endangered birds. In fact, the most endangered woodpecker in all of North America resides in these longleaf pine forests, the red cockaded woodpecker. We have a whole group of birders here from the Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival waiting for these birds to appear. This is a male red cockaded woodpecker. Very misty still. A lot of mist coming through here. And it's early morning and he's poking his head out. Trying to see if there's any danger around. There it goes, it just left. He's on the tree. On the tree, look, look, look. Got this very distinctive way of feeding. They'll put that bill under the bark, flick the bark everywhere. Often raise their wings every now and again while they're feeding. You can see what the bird is doing now, is pecking at the tree, trying to release the sap. And the sap is very important because that dripping sap, which is really sticky, will protect the nest cavity from predators like rat snakes. So this, along with the Florida scrub jay, is one of the specialty birds of Brevard County or the Space Coast. This is one of its last strongholds in Florida. Canaveral National Seashore is one of the best places to see another Florida specialty bird, the Florida scrub jay. In fact, this bird is so special because it is Florida's only endemic bird species. And I've got one right here behind me. Look at this little beauty. Corvids are super intelligent birds. And you can see this from this Florida scrub jay right now. They're always so alert, so curious to any sound, any movement. And what these scrub jays will do in these family groups is they will forage looking for acorns, particularly acorns of the scrub oak. And they will find those acorns and they will stash them, bury them and use them, those little larders, for later. When food is scarce, they'll come back and they'll dig up those acorns and they'll eat them. 